This is the problem which is related to the drift velocity of the conducting electrons. A copper wire of cross section 1 millimeter square is carrying a current of 10 amperes. The number density of the conducting electrons is 10 power 28 per meter cube. Find the drift velocity of the conduction electrons. So, area of the cross section is 1 millimeter square. So, we can write this one as 10 to the power of minus 3 meter whole square, nothing but 10 power minus 6 meter square. Current carried by this wire is 10 amperes. Number density n is equal to 10 to the power of 28 per meter cube. So, find the drift velocity of the conduction electrons. Vd is equal to how much? We know that I is equal to NEAVD. Therefore, Vd is equal to I by NEA. Therefore, I is equal to 10 amperes. N is equal to 10 to the power of 28. E is equal to 1.6 into 10 to the power of minus 19. A is equal to 10 to the power of minus 6. Therefore, 10 by this is 28 minus 19 plus 9, 9 minus 6, 3. Therefore, it is 1.6 into 10 cube. So, Vd is equal to 10 by 1.6 into 10 cube means 1.6 into 10 cube, this 10 in 10 cube 10 square times. So, this is 1 by 160 meters per second. This is the drift velocity of the electrons acquired when it is passing through a conductor of these dimensions. So, the next problem is also based on the relaxation time. A copper wire of area of cross section 4 millimeter square is 4 meter long and carries a current of 10 amperes. The number density of free electrons is 8 into 10 to the power of 28 per meter cube. How much time is required by an electron to travel the length of the wire? So, first of all, area of the copper wire is 4 millimeter square, nothing but 4 into 10 to the power of minus 6 meter square. Length of the wire is 4 meter, carries a current of I. 10 amperes. Number density n 8 into 10 to the power of 28 meter cube. How much time is required by an electron to travel the length? Before going to find out the relaxation time or traveling the length, we should find out the Vd, nothing but I by NAE. So, Vd is equal to I 10 amperes, N 8 into 10 to the power of 28 A 4 into 10 to the power of minus 6 E 1.6 into 10 to the power of minus 19. Therefore, it is, is 10 by 8 fourths are 32 into 1.6 into 28 minus 25 10 to the power of 3 by 10 square. So, we will get 1.95 into 10 to the power of minus 4 meters per second. That is the drift velocity acquired by the electrons through the cross section. Therefore, time is equal to L by Vd. Length of the wire is 4 meters. Vd is 1.95 into 10 to the power of minus 4. Therefore, it is 4 into 10 to the power of 4 by 1.95. So, approximately we will get 5.7 hours.
so this is the time taken to travel the electrons through this length of wire the next problem is based on the concept of mobility of the electrons a potential difference of 5 volts is applied across a conductor of length 0.1 meter if drift velocity of electrons is 2.510 to the power of minus 4 meters per second calculate the electron mobility so potential difference applied is 5 volts length of the conductor is 0.1 meter drift velocity is 2.5 into 10 to the power of minus 4 meters per second so what is the electron mobility we know that electrons mobility mu e is equal to vd by e we should find out the e next therefore e is equal to v by l therefore mu e is equal to vd by potential bar length therefore mu e is equal to vd into l by potential what is the drift velocity 2.5 into 10 to the power of minus 4 what is the length of the conductor 0 0.1 meter potential applied is 5 so therefore it is 2.5 into 10 to the power of minus 4 by 50 we can write so 50 2.5 so it is also called 25 250 into 10 to the power of minus 6 by 50 this 50 into 55 times therefore it is 5 into 10 to the power of minus 6 meter square per old second this is the mobility of the electron through the conductor when potential applied this much the next problem is based on the concept of average relaxation time and current density when a potential difference of 1.5 volts is applied across a wire of length 0.2 meters and area of cross section 0.30 millimeter square a current of 2.4 amperes flows through the wire if the number density of the free electrons in the wire is 8.4 into 10 to the power of 28 per meter cube, calculate the average relaxation time. Potential difference V applied is 1.5 volts. Applied across a wire of length L is equal to 0 0.2 meters. Area of cross section 0 0.30 millimeter square, nothing but 0 0.30 into 10 to the power of minus 6 meter square. A current of 2.4 amperes through the wire. If the number density of free electrons in the wire n is equal to 8.4 into 10 to the power of 28 per meter cube or meter power minus 3, we should find out the average relaxation time. We know that j is equal to n e square tau by m into e from this tau is equal to m j by n e square e so therefore tau is equal to m into what is j i by e into n e square what is e v by l So therefore, tau is equal to m mass of the electron 9.1 into 10 to the power of minus 31 j i by a where i is 2.4 a is 0 0.30 by 10 power minus 6.
into 10 to the power of minus 6 it will become plus 6 whole divided by n e square what is n number of electrons number density 8.4 into 10 to the power of 28 e square 1.6 into 10 to the power of minus 19 whole square v potential 1.5 L length 0 0.2 meters. So if you substitute all the values by finding the calculations between them, we will get 4.51 into 10 to the power of minus 16 seconds is equal to tau. So like this, we can find out the relaxation time in case of these type of definitions. So the next concept, next problem is based on the resistance of the material. If 10 meter long manganin wire, a manganin is a material, 0.13 centimeter in diameter, has a resistance of 3.4 ohms, find the resistivity of the material, what is the conductivity of the material. So length of the wire is 10 meters. Diameter of the wire is 0 0.13 centimeter, nothing but 0 0.13 into 10 to the power of minus 2 meters. Its resistance is 3.4 ohms. Find its resistivity and conductivity. We can say that rho is equal to R into A by L. R into what is area every wire has circular area of cross section so area is pi r square by L so R into pi into what is R D by 2 by L therefore rho is equal to R is 3.4 ohms pi 3.14 into d 0 0.13 into 10 to the power of minus 2 by 2 whole square whole divided by length of the given wire is 10 meters. Suppose if we calculate all these values, if you simplify this whole values, we will get uh, rho is equal to 4.5 into 10 to the power of minus 8 ohm meter. So, conductivity sigma is equal to 1 by rho. It is defined as 1 by 4.5 into 10 to the power of minus 8. This minus 8 goes up. 10 to the power of plus 6 plus 8 by 4.5. So, we can write this one as 2.2 into 10 to the power of 6 semen meter inverse. Semen is the SI unit of conductivity like ohm meter for resistivity. Like this we can find out the dimension of the values.